you are so much more precious and wonderful than you're aware of. Father has counted every hair on your head. He knows you're coming in and you're going out before you come and go. He knows you're gonna, what you're going to say and think before you think and say it. He's got a path that's laid out for you that gets brighter and brighter with the coming day. He's actually made your heart the home of the Holy Spirit. He said, I love you so much that I'm going to give you the same glory as I gave Jesus. I give you the same anointing as Jesus. And I love you as much as I love Jesus. So why do we limit ourselves? Whatever it is that is slowing you down, whatever it is that contradicts the truth of God's love and God's word to you, now is the time to ditch it. And for everyone in this room, it's different. For some, it will be fatherlessness. For some, it will be abuse. For some, it will be like almost a shipwrecked faith where you've stood and you've believed God for so long and you thought, well, he's... I'm going through the motions, but I really can't believe God. I'm going through the motions. I still believe, but I'm really struggling with expectation and anticipation. Or you just can't see how God's going to improve your life. You need your life improved. You want to know your destiny. You want to know where he's taking you. you. You're willing to do anything he tells you to do, but you just can't see anything that can change. And that's a spirit of blindness that stops you from moving forward. There are 10 Hebrew words for time. Isn't that amazing? 10. 10 Hebrew words for time. Greek is just Kronos and Kairos. But there's 10 Hebrew words for time. And all of them are different things, different meanings. One of them it means that time is a seed in the hand of God. Time is a seed. Another one is a combination of two letters. One, uh, Aleph, the God, God's name, and the other is the, the letter that represents the word of God. So you've got the name and the word of God coming together to shape your time and to dig out of time what is required for you. For some of you, you feel like you're not in step with God. Like you either need to be speeded up or slowed down or moved to one side, but you're just sort of not in sync. And just try as you hard and you pray and you fast and you're in the word, but it's not about what we do, it's about what he's done. And so all of this, these, these lies, these perceptions, these manipulations of the enemy, these deceptions, digressions, diversions of the enemy have stopped the fullness of the Father's love flowing into your life and giving to you what he's had in his heart to give you. In Isaiah, let me read this out. I love this. Isaiah, this is the Amplified. And then we're going to do a bit of body ministry. Isaiah 30, verse 18. It says, and this is the Amplified, and therefore the Lord earnestly waits. He's earnestly waiting, expecting, looking, longing to be gracious to you. He's longing to be gracious to you. Therefore he lifts himself up that he can have mercy on you and show loving kindness to you. So picture the father on the throne with an armful of 
parcels and goodies that he wants to give you and he's getting up out of the throne and he's looking over the balcony of heaven saying is Jeunesse ready for this lot yet is Jeunesse ready for this oh, I can oh, oh yeah oh my almost you know but he's anticipating the release of what he wants to give you he's anticipating the release of it in your life it's like when Jesus said to Peter throw out the net and they had this huge you know net breaking boat sinking load of fish can you imagine the expectation in, Pete, in, in Jesus and he's looking at Peter waiting to see the look on Peter's face when all of a sudden these fish erupt looking to see what you know the the oh my gosh you know the excitement that Jesus had because it's more blessed to give than to receive and the father's up there with an armful of presents and goodies for all of us and he's saying I want to I, I just want to give it to you and the verse finishes with blessed happy fortunate and to be envied are all those who earnestly wait for him now that waiting for him doesn't mean I'm waiting it means that we wrap ourselves around him, deepen our relationship, and we expect and look and long for him, for his victory, his favor, his love, his peace, his joy, and his matchless, unbroken companionship. What scripture was that? Isaiah 30, verse 18. That was the amplified, that was the novel version. But the Father's heart is longing to release. Challenge is, if we've got excess baggage, we block it. Can you sense the anointing here now? You sense that, that the Father is wanting to release. You have a choice of how close you go to Jesus. 70, 12, 3, 1. Progression doesn't happen overnight, but you have a choice. God does not decide how close you come to him. You do. And the Father has bundles of stuff because if you remember how good God is, the blessings for the righteous go for a thousand generations. So a thousand generations back, blessings have been stored up for us with our name on it. On. Thousand generations back, I agree. stored up with our name on it, released incrementally into our lives as the season and the time dictates. A thousand generations. He is so absolutely generous. Yes. 